You're in a program and your program freezes. What do you do? I'm gonna give you five things that can help you in case your computer stalls. Now, I'm talking to Apple users, those who have Mac computers, MacBook Pros or Mac Minis. Today, we're talking about troubleshooting. Simple ways to troubleshoot your computer issues. Sorry, Windows people. Um, maybe another video for another time. Many of us have been in a program, somehow it froze, maybe because the file was corrupted or whatever happened. It's an inconvenience to us all. Let's get into it. If you do happen to be stalled inside of a program and you cannot get out, just go ahead and shut down your computer. Don't try to mess with preferences or anything. Just go ahead and shut down your computer and restart it. Sometimes that gives the computer, you know, a little bit of a, it's a restart, you know, the computer can start afresh. You just go ahead and restart it up. Um, open your program up and see if you can open that file again. Hi, my name is Brett. I really just want to give you some tips or some solutions that you can um, take with you involving troubleshooting your Apple computer. So here are the top five things. Let's go into number one. Apple software can get hung up in software commands if too many programs are running at the same time. It's possible that you may have other programs that are running in the background. We open up a number of programs and throughout the day, we never actually close them. So those programs that are running in the background, they could be hogging up either CPU space or Apple software can get hung up in commands if too many programs are open at the same time. So go ahead and force quit those programs because just because you close a uh, program or a file inside of the software does not mean that the software itself is closed. So you definitely want to close all of those programs. So here's number two. In my experience, I've been in Apple software before and I've had my computer hooked up to external accessories such as hard drive, external hard drives, and somehow the hard drive actually ended up being corrupted. So I had to troubleshoot with the hard drive to make sure it was still working correctly. And what I ultimately ended up doing was unhooking that hard drive to make sure that that was not the source. Because sometimes when you go to restart your computer and you have the hard drive still hooked into it, the computer is trying to read the hard drive and the hard drive is just not responding for whatever reason. So what you must do here is to eliminate the problem altogether. Go ahead and unhook those hard drive accessories. Isolate the problem. Make sure it's not the hard drive that's giving you the issue. Then restart your computer up to see and try to open the program up and see if it will respond to your commands. Number three, believe it or not, the file that you're working on inside the software, whatever software you're using, could actually be corrupted. So what you'll need to do, first, you, you kind of want to use your judgment, your best judgment on this, but try that file on another computer. Now, this is only if you have both the program on that computer and the file. I like to save, save, save. I, I save my files on my computer as well as I save it on my external and then I'll save it again on another external. So what I'll do is I'll take that external drive and I'll try to open up that file on another, a totally different computer to see if the file is corrupted. If the file is corrupted, it will of course not open. Thankfully in most Apple third-party programs, there's a fail safe and Apple automatically saves even if you get dumped out of your program for some reason, you're able to at least go back to the last saved version of that file so if you know it's corrupted or if it happens to show itself as being corrupted at least you will not lose your latest work on that program on to number four now number four is a don't do this rather than do this up solution what you do not want to do is try to go and update your operating system that's that's a no-no you will probably end up with more issues than you started with most apple computers you're using you may have the latest operating system but what you want to make sure is that your program or your software within apple's computer operating system is compatible to that latest software that has been installed into your computer once you check this and make sure that everything's fine don't update to the, the latest i've done that it's been a big huge mistake and i've had to go through my time machine to get me back to the original operating system that i was using at the time if you try to install new operating system who knows that third party software may not be compatible with apple's updates apple consistently updates their operating system it's probably every seven to eight months or so 
And in between that, there are other security measures that are updated. What I did was I tried to fix the problem by upgrading software. What ended up happening was I upgraded to the new software to find out that my software that I was using within the operating system or within the new operating system was not compatible and I was not able to open up my file. So again, do not install new operating systems on your Mac computer. What you may find out is what you're dealing with is a simple problem. Number five is my favorite. So I love to research on YouTube and or Google. They are just amazing references to where you can type in or try to get in the ballpark of what you think is going on. And Google, I'm telling you, they're either threads, um, they're discussions. Apple even has its own discussion thread that you can go through. I guarantee you, nine times out of 10, someone else has run into this issue. And I've researched this and have found the solution actually by searching with Google. Yes, Google and YouTube. And that is exactly why we are here. You yourself may be searching out for some type of solution to be able to help you. So that's why you came to YouTube or Google. So that is my number one and fifth solution. Type it in Google, see what you can come up with. If the program gives you a hint, you come across a dialogue box that actually reads something with an exclamation point, you know, type that exact sentence into Google. Like I said, I am fully 100% sure that you'll be able to find the solution that you need via Google. If any of these top five things do not seem to work for you, drop a comment below, or you can actually email the email below, and I'll be happy to assist you in any way I can. You wanna be able to isolate the problem. It may not necessarily be the computer or the software. More than likely, it's not gonna be two or three things at the same time. It's just gonna be one issue. If it's the program, let's go ahead and isolate. Is it an update that we need? Do we need to just restart that program altogether? Is it the computer? Maybe the computer got hung up for some reason. Restarting the computer will also help with this just to reboot everything. So you wanna be able to isolate, make sure you isolate the problem. More than likely, it's just a small issue that you can probably take care of with a simple restart. As long as your computer is still powering up and it's working fine, it may be the program, it may be the software, it may be the file. But as long as your computer is able to turn on, you shouldn't have an issue in finding out a troubleshooting solution for your problem.